In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make the glossy polish button in Macromedia Fireworks 8. The first step to creating your button is to click Create New Fireworks File. You'll want to make sure that your document is large enough to hold your button. We're going to start out with a document at 150 pixels long and 150 pixels high at a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Your canvas color should be white but you can change this later if necessary. Click OK. Next, you want to draw your button using the Vector Rectangle tool. Draw your button on the blank canvas. We'll start out with a button about this big. Next, so that you can trim off any excess canvas and focus only on the button, you want to click Modify, Canvas, Trim Canvas. Next, you want to apply the effect. Click on your pointer tool, then down here where it says solid, change that to linear gradient. When making a polish button, you want to make sure that the dark color is on top and the light color is on the bottom. For our dark color, we will be using a black and for the light color, we'll be using this gunmetal gray. Next, draw a black border around your entire box using the border tool. We'll use black. Next, you want to put the white border inside the black border. Click on View, Magnification, 800%. The reason we enlarge our picture is so that we can get at the pixel level to do some serious modification. Click on Rectangle tool again. Now, Leaving space for the black border, draw another border inside the rectangle. This will be filled, so you want to get rid of the fill pattern by clicking None. You want to change the border to white. Next, bring your opacity to 40%. Next, you want to draw the polish. Click on Rectangle tool again. Starting at the top, Draw a rectangle about eh, two quarters of the uh, of the way down. You don't want a border this time, but you do want to fill it with white. Next, you want to fade that white. Click on Command, Creative, Fade Image. This is your fade image dialog. This contains many options on how you can fade your image. Let's go top to bottom. Click OK. Next you will notice that there is a very soft edge on this fade. That's not what we want. We want a very crisp, clean, pronounced edge. Click on the square and drag your fade down. You'll notice that the edge has intensified. But this white box is a bit too bright. Let's bring it down to 80. Great. Let's zoom back out and see what we have. View, magnification, 100%. Okay, our button is looking very three-dimensional as well as very polished. Next, we want to add some text. Go to Vector, Text Tool. You can click anywhere in the square. I want to use the Syntax font. It's very professional. We're going to pretend that we're making a shopping cart. So, the text of my button is going to be Add to Cart. Next, click on the on the black arrow and I want to use the kerning tool this is the kerning or range kerning tool and I'm gonna squeeze my letters about f negative four that gives a very professional look to it I want to make sure that my text is centered on my button so to do that what I do is I select the text hold down the shift key and select the button Make sure you're selecting the button and not the border or the polish. Next, go to Modify, Align, Center Vertical. Then go back, Modify, Align, Center Horizontally. This will give the text a nice centered look in the button. Since this is a polished button, we want to give a nice reflection. Click on the text, 
click on modify transform actually we want to create a new one so go edit copy now paste then go to modify transform flip vertical then using your keyboard bring the text down so that there is just a one pixel line in between the real text and your reflection bring this down to about fifty percent okay next you want to apply a blur since it is a reflection we're going to go to filters blur gaussian blur this document tells you you're about to convert vectors to bitmaps this is a good warning because when things are in vector format they can be modified freely when they're in bitmap format they appear to the computer as a whole picture and cannot be edited easily click OK next you want to blur let's go ahead and blur it about 0.8 click OK then you want to fade go back to filters I'm sorry commands then go to creative then fade the image we're going to use top to bottom again click OK alright your button is a hundred percent complete or is it you may want to create another effect that happens when people roll their mouse over the button this is called a hot state to create the hot state click on the button itself okay I gotta get the button because right now I'm selecting the border sometimes it's difficult to select the button if you want to make things easier bring this over this is your layers you can tell which is the border which is the gloss which is the text we want to make sure we select the black rectangle that's our button then go to filters to shadow and glow now we do an inner glow let's do blue I like blue bring it up to a hundred percent bring this down to two eh. We'll go to five and as you see we have a very nice glowing polished button ready for any website this concludes our tutorial for more information check out the website www.crossusa.net thank you